guys, welcome back to my channel. New room, new space, new colour. I am here today to show you how to do this hair and makeup. I think it turned out really cool. I think that this is a really natural go-to makeup. I feel like this is the kind of makeup that we're all gonna want in our arsenal before they all let us out. Cause it's gonna happen soon guys. We're gonna be let out our houses soon. I am also partnering with JHD on a portion of this video. I'm gonna be showing you their brand new style tool which pretty phenomenal am i shocked no will you be maybe it's so nice to be back it's been a little while since i filmed with the move and everything a huge reason that i thought this video would be great is because i've been working out of my little makeup bag this is all i've had with me for the last two weeks since we packed and moved and have been here have i i've not unpacked this room let's not talk about it so i just thought that there are so many looks that i've got out of this little collection so it really is a few of my like favorite products that i've been using found a new favorite today we'll see if you can guess what it is if you would like to see how i created this entire look then please stay tuned hello do you like my oh my god <laughs> it's the first time that i'm filming and people can like walk past. Yeah, I'm gonna have to just get over that. <laughs> How do you like the blue background? I don't hate it. Let's start, let's start with hair. This is what we're working with. I washed my hair last night and just let it air dry. Just because I really want to show you how sleek and smooth I can get my hair. I am so excited to be working with GHD again and to show you the new GHD Max. So I'm gonna turn mine on. The plates on the GHD Max are 70% larger. So this is an amazing tool for thick hair, super long hair, for wigs, for extensions, for really curly hair. I have quite thick hair. Um, I actually have an undercut, so I have a lot of my hair essentially shaved off. But I have quite frizzy hair. I've got quite a lot of hair as well. I do wear extensions quite a lot of the time, obviously not for the past year, but that's fine. The plates are kept at a constant 185 degrees, which is the optimum temperature for styling your hair. You're gonna get way less damage than a hotter styler, and it's gonna give you two times less frizz and 80% more shine. So I am so excited, this is gonna take me no time at all. I'm gonna section my hair off, so I'm just gonna grab half. If you go and look at the GHD Instagram as well, I have been seeing so many videos of people using this to curl their hair. The same way that I would use my Platinum Plus to give my hair a nice bend, you can do it with the GHD Max as well, which is really, really nice for long hair. You might have seen that GHD have revamped their hair styling range. This is the straight on, straight and smooth spray. So this is a bit of a power couple, these two together. This is gonna protect my hair, it's heat protection as well, but it also is gonna leave my hair super smooth. It's gonna keep my hair straighter for longer and frizz free for longer as well so I'm just going to spray a little bit of that through. I'm really excited I've been definitely like neglecting <laughs> my appearance since we moved to the new house so I'm going to get a GHD Max. Wow so because the plates are larger obviously you're going to get more hair in there so so nice for thick hair see for the quickness of this I can see this just being something that sits out. I'm also planning on hopefully getting extensions again. So this tool will be absolutely perfect for when I've got thicker, longer hair. But for me, if you're like me and you have short hair, but your hair is really thick, you will really love these. Oh my goodness, that was very quick. So I just like section my hair. You can take much bigger sections when you're using the max. You can see my natural texture coming through and my last highlights just hanging in there. I'm going to speed you up and we'll finish off this hair. It is 1.34 at the moment and let's see how long it takes for me to do this. One thirty-seven. Look, three minutes. That is the quickest. This is a great little trick for flyaways at the crown of your head. So I'm gonna get my 
favourite brush. This is the Back Home and Brush from GHD and I'm going to take a little bit of the Perfect Ending Hairspray. Spray that on my brush. Bam. So good. My fringe is growing so I just straighten it and then tuck it behind my ears and that gives a natural kind of bend in it. I go through phases with my hair. I think I had my hair curly for ages there, a little whip, like kind of bend in it and then I wear my hair up for ages but I actually do always love coming back to having sleek hair and bear in mind I've not had a, like a haircut in a really long time and I think my hair actually looks really nice and neat and tidy. And like I said, if you go on the GHD Instagram, they have amazing videos of different ways that you can use the GHD Max. For anyone with curly hair as well, the temperature of the GHD Max means that when you're straightening your hair, you're not damaging it. If you wash it the next day, you're going to get your natural curl back in your hair. Which means that if you straighten your hair, one day you want to wear it straight, and then the next day you wash your hair, your hair will go back to its natural curl, no problem at all. Okay, so now for the makeup and the skincare actually. I have just moved house, so all my stuff is like still packed in a million boxes. I made a makeup bag, so I used my Viva Essential bag and it's got all my makeup that I've been wearing for the last like two weeks in it, including my skincare. So I've just been working out of this one bag. It's been so good, so I'm gonna show you a quick get ready with me how I would do my makeup just kind of on a daily basis. I've been playing around with this look a lot lately. I just feel like it's really nice, it's really pretty, it's quick, but it's maybe not like a five minute makeup. It's like a nice happy medium. You're sitting down, you're gonna watch a wee episode of something and get ready in the background kind of vibes. So for skin, see for something that's just really nice and light under makeup, I've been using my Hyaluronic Acid from SkinCeuticals. This is the HA Intensifier. This is my third or fourth bottle of this. I'm just gonna rub that my finger and put it on. It's just such a nice hydrator, super important. I don't think there's anyone that wouldn't benefit from a hydrating acid, like a hyaluronic acid. And then a wee bit of eye cream. So this is the Ren Brightening Dark Circle Eye Cream. Super popular and for good reason. It's just so nice under makeup as well. I've had eye creams in the past that pill under makeup, like more than one. Whatever's in this guy is perfect plus my eyes just need a wee bit extra hydration and lift these days my friend. This is the Sun Project Water Sun Cream. It's an SPF 50. I got it on Cult Beauty. It's really nice from Thank You Farmer, the brand. And I use quite a lot. I'm really trying to just use this every day right now. It's hard to get into the habit of it, but it is just so important. It smells nice and clean and fresh. It leaves your skin looking nice and glowy. It's definitely not oily, which is nice for under makeup again. Do you know what this makeup's gonna be like? My first meeting back in London. This is what I'm gonna look like. I'm probably gonna wear this top, these hoops, straight hair, and the makeup I'm about to do. It's like businesswoman chic. So skin just looks fresh. It doesn't make me look any kind of paler or anything like that. There's no white cast. And let's zoom you in into the makeup. I quite like this blue background. I think it's nice. I think it makes the white balance nicer. So I'm going to start off with my eyebrows. I have been doing this technique for the last good few weeks and I really, really like it. This is the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. It does take a wee bit of time, but it's worth it. So what I'm going to do is start combing that through my eyebrows and getting them to stand up. We've just had an announcement in Scotland that things are gonna like start opening back up again. And I am so excited. I have my hair booked in with Jack. Just cannot wait, I'm gonna book in for everything. Tell me in the comments what if you could only pick one thing to go and get done, you know, hair, nails, massage, whatever, what would it be? Because I think it would be my hair. I've managed to maintain, like I, I can give myself a nice facial at home. I do miss other people touching my face though. Strange as it is, I do really miss it. Okay, and then once we've done one coat, I go back in, get some more, and we're gonna do the same thing. Really combing it through, and the product starts to dry slightly, which makes it even tackier. So what you end up with is a kind of slightly laminated brow effect. And then I'm going to get a little bit more product again and go in with the flat side of the brush and really load it up. And then I get a spoolie and we're going to really look. See when you press it, 
just like using glue but you're using a product that actually is I think it's more versatile and this does not move all day I think that so <laughs> I think people thought I was sneaky going and getting my eyebrows done but you can just do it you can fake it till you make it fake it till you can go and book in for it so I just really push that down with my spoolie nice right I'm gonna go in with gimme brow plus this is the shade number 4.5 and I'm just gonna go right over everything that I've done and it's just going to add a wee bit more colour and plump up the eyebrows a little bit. It is actually quite a natural brow we're doing. I found a bunch of old photos recently and they really remind me of the brows that I had when I was young. They were a lot like rounder, but I quite, I, I quite like them. Now I've done that, I'm going to do my skin. I'm going to keep it super glowy, but quite long lasting. That, that's the goal. So I'm going to use my Hollywood Flawless Filter in the shade 4.5, which is one of the newer shades. And I'm just going to... We're not doing crazy coverage today, just because my skin's quite happy at the moment, so I'm going to keep it slightly more natural, but just more polished, which is, I think, actually one of my favourite makeup styles at the moment. I think it looks really sophisticated, quite natural and fresh as well, which is definitely like a trend right now. Plus, I've done quite a few very glam makeups recently. I just wanted to do something nice and easy. So the Charlotte Tilbury is giving me a nice glow all over. You can still really see my skin through it, which I like. I'm gonna use my concealer. I have used this concealer so much recently. Yeah, I'm like halfway done. This is the Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer in the shade 2.5N. I've been going between this and the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer recently. I would love it if the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer had a slightly bigger doe foot like this. I think that's why I like this concealer so much, but I think formula-wise, I might prefer the NARS. I really like both. And I'm just patting that concealer out, leaving it a little bit longer underneath my eyes. And just carefully around my eyebrows. And I'm just going up under my eye and we're leaving all the natural tones in the lid. I used to do this all the time. Now you could leave your skin like this if you want, I really like it, but I'm gonna go in with a tiny touch of the Good Apple Foundation by KBD Beauty. I recently did a job with this foundation and it is so nice. I'm literally gonna go in with my brush and just add a tiny bit of coverage on top of that, just on my cheeks, just to blank that out, because I can feel like you can kind of still see a little bit of scar in here. I'm just gonna cover that up. It's such a beautiful foundation. And I really like how versatile it is. I can just chuck a little bit on, fresh to death. Okay, a little bit of powder. Look, it's on its last legs. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. I'm gonna go in with my little Smith brush. This is the Smith 131 brush. Such a good powder brush. And I'm just gonna set all the areas that I feel like I need to. So under my eyes and in between my eyebrows. I'm a bit shiny inside my mouth. Just all the usual spots, anywhere that you feel like you get oilier. And you can see the skin's got a really nice shine to it. Those products all work really nicely together to give a lovely radiant finish. It's like perfected skin, but not too heavy coverage. Like if I really come close, you can still see, I've got a wee blemish here, you can still see a wee bit, that's fine. So I'm gonna add a tiny bit of color back into my skin. Now I'm not gonna go too nuts with the bronzer, but I'm gonna use a little bit. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer in the shade number three. I just use one little tap of that. Nice and high up. So you can't even really see. I'm just going to go onto my neck a little bit. A little bit around my head. So you can barely see that I've put any bronzer on, which is kind of the look that I want. We'll I say that now and we'll see what happens. And then for blush, I'm going to use the Fave Sunset Blush in the shade Piazza. This is what, there's so many reviews of people saying it's like the perfect sun-kissed, sun, sun burn blush without the sun damage. <laughs> I really like that because that's exactly what it looks. It looks like your skin's just got that heat to it, like you've been cooked in the sun, like my favourite feeling in the world, you know, when you've been out in the sun all day and you go in and you're that toasty way. It's, it's like that in a blush. So I'm going to go in with a tiny bit and a great way to use a deep blush. So if you look at that, it's quite a lot darker than my skin tone. Go in with your blush and then use the palm of your hand just to tap it off first. Nice. Every time I use this shade though, it really makes me miss summer. Over the nose. Nice. Love it. 
I've misplaced my highlight brush so I'm just going to use my fingers and I'm going to go in with a touch of the Nova Glow highlighter in the shade Holy Chic and I'm just going to tap that on my cheeks and melt that into my skin. A wee bit on my nose. I have just so been loving glowy glowy skin recently. Love my brow. Nice. I'm going to take my Benefit Roller Liner in the shade Brown and I'm going to do my little freckle. Do you know what? The sun is so shining today and it's making me... Like, I think it's really affecting my makeup. I think I've ended up looking quite summery, but it's great. We're here for it. Now, I'm going to go back to my old ways. I'm going to do a brown wing liner. So, I used to do a brown wing liner years ago. I've always loved it. And recently, with all the, the kind of more natural makeup trends coming back, I'm seeing it a lot more and I love it. I love it so much. So, I'm going to use the same roller liner in the shade brown to create my wings. I'm going to start halfway along my eye. Just straight onto my bare lid and I'm going to bring this out quite straight. Because it's brown it's so much less harsh than black. You can get away with doing it honestly quite messily if you're not great at liner. I'm just sketching that on like, look at that. Oh. Oh. They're, so I wouldn't say that they're small wings. Because they're brown and not black, they look much softer. And I'm going to take the same liner and I'm actually just going to slightly line the inside of my eye. So just in here. Almost just like my tear duct. And that is a really subtle fox eye if you're like me and your eyes are too close together to do proper fox eye. I'm going to add tons of mascara to this look so I'm going to use the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara in the shade black and I'm just going to take my time to really build this up and I'm also going to add mascara to my lower lashes as well just to make my eyes look a wee bit bigger. I'm going to use the Vive Modern Lip Definer in the shade Brat. See for me for everyday wear it's just the best. If I don't want to look like I've got a lip on, this is what I would use because I really do love overlining my lips. It is just so perfect for a natural but slightly overdrawn pout. So I'll show you. I'll start in the middle. I'm just going to stay really close to my natural lip line at the side. And I'm going right on to my lip now with the lip liner. When my lip is as natural as this, I just put a wee bit of lip balm on. This is the NARS Clean Cut After Glow Lip Balm. Really nice, it's pretty much clear. And that just makes your lips look nice and hydrated. And then you could leave it totally like this or you could add a wee pair of half lashes. So I will be right back, I'm gonna add some and then we'll finish the look off. Ta -da! I want to try one thing. I know that I've done my freckle already, but I got this Freck Noir from Freck, which is, I don't know if you guys remember, but Freck are a really cool company that started full freckle product called Freck. This is Freck Noir, so it's a bit darker, but I am so um, dark at the moment that I'm just gonna try it. And I think what you do is you dot, dot, dot. Oh God, no, that's too dark. Oh no. <gasps> That's working. So you just dot your freckles on, pat them out. I do think I prefer this colour and if you look at my fingers it really sticks and I think that does look like wee freckles. So I'm just going to keep doing these just up here. Pat, pat, pat. It looks like my freckles. I'm really impressed with that. Cool! So we've ended up <laughs> I mean, you don't need to do this. I just really wanted to try this product out on camera. I've not used it properly before. I used it to fill in my actual beauty mark, but I think that's worked really well. I'm going to zoom you out. <laughs> so, you guys, that is the finished look. I love the way it turned out. I'm so excited. I cannot believe I've got freckles. That was like a little lucky bag. I don't even know why I had it in my makeup bag. As always, I will link everything that I used down below. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I'm definitely going to be wearing this makeup when they let me back out. When they let me back out in the world. Thank you so much to GHD for partnering with me yet again. And other than that, I will see you in the next video. Bye! Hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. 
Just checking the sound. So you will get that natural color. Cur Why can't I say that? Am I having a stroke? Why there's a lot of alarm going off. What did I do? My eyebrows are really long. I have just so been loving glowy glowy skin recently. Oh, I say recently and always. <laughs> Holy chic. Where's my highlight brush? I think I've left it downstairs. Before we do eyes, I'm gonna do to get the foundation off my nose ring. I'm gonna to have to shut the curtains the next time I film in this room because people can really see in my window. If you've seen lash glue on my lashes this whole time, just don't bring it out. And it's just such oh god, oh god, what a mess. 